Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the penultimate video on this restoration of this Honor Carmen 2. So I'm going to do some more uh, bodywork things and make some straps. And then I think on the final video I'll just go through the whole process and give it a test play and uh, just demonstrate how it all is. So the next thing I want to do is to put the bellows bellows straps in a position where they actually fit because if I just angle that down a little bit here you go. Uh, what's going on here is that the extra bellows tape has meant that the it doesn't actually clip on anymore so I'm going to leave that one that popper there where it pops onto the, in its place because that can't really move but this one I can move down a little bit before I move it down what I need to do is seal up the hole because that hole where that screw is is going through into the treble side and if I just leave that then it will be a, a place where air will escape so I shall show you on this side because I've got this one taken off so that's where that's where it was like that so I need to then put a mark so I'm going to clip it back on and then I'm just going to get my my bradle hold it fairly tight and also make sure it's straight like that put my bradle make a little point point little pointy hole and that's going to be my new position and so I can just start that off not too much because it's only a small screw but before I do anything else what I'm going to do is take off this side I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the inside where that hole was and then just drop some super glue down into there so that that is sealed and the super glue will just dry nice and quickly so I've got my glue I need a little cock little stick need some tape so I've already taken off the pins so I'll just show you how I do this Okay, so it's difficult to see, but in here, there's a little hole where that screw would have come through. So what I'm going to do from balance, oh no, I can't really balance it. I'm going to put just a little bit of tape over that hole. And that means that when I put super glue from the other side, it doesn't all just come out of the hole. And I'm just going to block that up. There it is. Once the super glue has, has dried, that could come off but that is just to stop it coming at the other end and then all I'm going to do now is drop some super glue down that hole a little cocktail stick and then that will just seal that all up another thing you could do if you wanted to is put some glue in the hole and then put the cocktail stick in leave it to dry then snip it off and then paint it or colour it but I think this might be work quite well. So a little cocktail stick. Pop it in my glue. in there there we go so what I can do now is leave that to dry 
and that should just seal up that little hole and then dry nice and clear so you won't really see it and then once that's dried up I'm just going to screw the bellows trap into the new position which is just a little bit lower and that should be all good to go so I'll just show you that when I finished it okay so I've now done the base straps so they're now fitting and quite happy with that it's quite tidy and it's just nice to be able to use the ones that are on there rather than make new ones because it's all part of the the kind of character of this accordion so that's really nice so the next uh, um, next thing I'm going to do is make some shoulder straps so uh, I'll just take off this one which is a temporary one and what I've done is found a an old strap that I've just uh, fitted onto the accordion and checked and this is about the right length for me so I'll make it this long the straps and then so I've got some leather to, to match that length uh, but with obviously some adjustments for the buckle so you can make it longer and shorter so I've cut myself I've got my bit of leather marked out so I can cut two pieces of, of leather the same length for the main part of the strap and then the other thing I do is cut the the bits where the buckles go so I've got some more thinner leather for that so now I'm going to start piecing together the straps so I've just got to get my stuff ready and I'll show you what it all it entails so the first thing is I've got the, the main shoulder strap bits and I'm going to get some sharp scissors and I'm just going to neaten off the edges by it's just cutting just a little curve on the end of each one Just do the other ones, I won't quite feel what's on that bit, just so I'll just show you. Okay, so that's just yeah, those cut nicely. So the next thing is to get the buckle bits of the leather. So I'm just going to use this existing strap just to measure how long that is, and that will mean I've got plenty of adjustment. on the straps when I've made them and I'll just cut the second one to the same length just to hold it up so they're both the same put that away for a minute and what I'm going to do is just round off um, two of the ends and then the other one I'm going to make into a point because that's going to be the bit that goes to the buckle. So I'm just going to cut those and I'll show you that. Okay, I had to do four of these in the end. I forgot you've got two on each strap. So four of those buckle bits. Right, the next thing I need is a little ruler, pencil, and a sharp knife. For voila. And now I need to start attaching the buckle bit to the strap. So first thing I'm going to do is get my strap and I'm going to have make sure I understand which is the which side is which because one side is slightly better than the other so I'm going to have the outside as a better side of the leather uh, and then I need to make some holes in the strap so let me just get that tool 
Okay, so I need to make two holes for some rivets on each end of the strap, which are four centimeters apart. So I'm going to just start a little bit in from the end of the strap, just so I've not got the rivet too close to the end. And I'm going to do two lines on the strap, four centimeters apart. So let's do pencil. Yep, and then keeping my eye, I'm just going to eyeball the middle. So now I've got two two crosses on there. So I'm just going to get my hole punch, set it to the right hole size, and I'm just going to drive a hole. Through that leather and another one there. So now I've got two holes in the leather there. So that's going to be the first part. Now I'm going to get my buckle bit of leather, and this is where I need to make sure that I'm all going the right way. Now the buckle is going to go on the top and back round like that. So I make sure I've got the right side of the leather on the top, on the outside. And then, so on here, I need to make two holes, again, four centimeters apart. So again, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna measure two, for two lines, four centimeters apart, a little bit in from the end. So the buckle's not, the rivet's not right on the end. And I'm just going to mark the center. So now I've got two crosses four centimeters apart on this bit. And again, drive some holes through. So those holes will now match the holes I've made on the bigger strap. Now the next thing is a bit tricky. I'm going to just focus in on this one. So I'm just going to stop this. And so what I'm going to do here is cut, draw a line two centimeters long in the middle of the two holes on that bit of strap. So. Yep. There you are. So I've got that line drawn on the strap, and now I'm just going to get a craft sharp craft knife and cut along that line, so I'm cutting a slit in the leather at that point. And you've got to get a sharp knife for this. It's got a quite tough cut. Now I'm just going on the other side and catch up with it on that side as well. You go all the way through, all the way along until the buckle won't fit properly. There we go. And now, ready to start riveting it together. So for this bit, I'm going to choose some rivets from my little rivet selection. So this is a very nice little kit here. It's got like different colours and different lengths. So I'm going to go. Four. 
Dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm going to go for this brass effect look with it. You can, just because I've got loads of them left. So let's go for the brass effect. So you need to get two sides to rivet the, the big and the small. So I'll get a couple of those ready. Yeah. Right. There's that for a minute. So now I've got my rivets. I've got my riveting little block of metal and I've got the riveting bar which I'm going to tap down onto. Now before I do any riveting I'm going to get some earplugs because I don't want to go deaf. So I'm just going to find my earplugs because it's quite noisy. Okay, so this is a good bit. Find me ooze, there's me ooze, there's me ooze. All right, I hope this makes sense. Got my two holes in there, and then the that's the outside. That's the kind of best side of the leather. And then I'm going to turn the other bit of leather upside down, so the it curls round with the best side on the outside. So I'm going to put the Move it through, and then I'm going to I'm going to get my first buckle. And then the buckle is going to it's quite fiddly this bit. The buckle is going to thread through, and then the pin. It's going to go through the slot that I've just cut out. So I'll just push that through. Let's perhaps take it off first. There we go. The pin and then like that and then I'm going to attach the hole through that rivet, I hope I can see that, and I'm going to rivet that one down. So what I'm going to do now is pop the one side of the rivet onto the block, like so, find the other side of the rivet Put on the top. Like that. Uh, get my earplugs in because I don't want to go deaf. And now I'm just going to tap with my hammer, graft hammer here, and the rod. I'm going to tap that first rivet firmly. In here we go. There we are. That's the first rivet in, and I'm going to do the same thing for the second. post or thingy bubbly. Yeah, take off the earplugs. There we are. So that's now all in place. So that will then curl over there and then feed back through the buckle. So all I've got to do now is find the other end of the strap, the, the, the buckley bit, and just cut 
So I'm using the same size of hole punch, just cut about four holes, equidistant to three, four. There we are. So I've got the holes punched in there, and now that will act as a, a buckle. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do the other, f one more for that one, that side. And I'm going to do the other two on the other strap and I'll show you when they're all done. Okay, so here we are. I've made two nice accordion straps. I've reused some buckles from old straps because I'd like to reuse them if I can. Um, but all the leather's brand new. Uh, it's always handy to have the special hammer. It's just a nice kind of, uh, it's got a copper on one side and plastic on the other so it's just just a nice little hammer for using for this kind of stuff so the next thing i do i'm just going to pop them onto the accordion and show you what they look like on the and there we are so that's the straps nicely on and um just looks nice and tidy and i like the fact that they're handmade and if i put the accordion on i actually haven't finished fixing the with the two screws so I'll just take that off for a minute in case that falls off but if I put the accordion on turn it around this way a little, little bit I can then check the size of the straps and I haven't put them into their full adjustments they've still got some really halfway adjusted on the little buckles so they can still get bigger and that's a really nice size for me and I'm pretty large, so I don't think it'll be too too short for anybody, because I'm big, uh, but that's nice and comfortable. So, there we go. So I'm quite happy. Uh, things have very nearly finished and um, it's nice to have ticked off a few jobs I'm pleased that the bellow straps are now fitting properly I'm pleased I've got some nice shoulder straps on there the grill looks nice and the bodywork and everything that looks pretty pretty tidy uh, so I think I'll stop there for this video um, and the final video just be a tiny bit more finessing I haven't got round to quite doing the bit of felt underneath the key so I'll do that bit final bit of cleaning up and polishing and um, I'm going to just treat the leather strap on the the base strap just going to add, add a bit of leather treatment to that give it a final clean up final test so I'll do that in the final video but I hope you found this useful thanks for watching <laughs>